So one more question I received was how to become God at Excel. Uh, that's an interesting question. So uh, that's probably one of the easiest hacks to impress people at the workplace, right? If you know your shit and if you know all the Excel shortcuts and you're just Excel wizarding through your Excel sheets, that's a great thing. And you can definitely use it at a lot of different jobs, right? But we're going to talk about consulting. How, how can you become a god at Excel? And this is like, okay, let me give you an, a short answer because I don't want to talk about this for hours. Basically, it's about uh, two things. Um, it's about, firstly, structure and simplicity. So it needs to be structured and simple at the same time, right? Because if you build an Excel sheet, you can always get to where you want to go with a super complicated formula. And probably you're very proud of this complicated formula that you know it uh, or that you were able to Google it. But that's not the point. The point is to get from A to B as simply and elegantly as possible. Okay. And then the second thing for me is, and it's controversial, but I think it's important to know the shortcuts. I think it's good to be able to navigate Excel without using your mouse. Does it mean that you need to sit down and freaking memorize the, all the Excel shortcuts and you need to do the most outrageous stuff without using your mouse? No, of course. I've seen great, great Excel wizards using their mouse and uh, let me tell you, that's also okay. But just for me personally, I think it makes sense to Try to not move, move your mouse for 99% of the time. It's also just more pleasant. You get into kind of a flow state. We're just typing on your keyboard. Things are flowing on the screen. And it's, uh, it's a nice way to, to work with Excel. I provide personal coaching, yes. That being said, how do you get there, right? So the second thing is easy. You know, just don't use your mouse, right? Just unplug it and don't use it. And then deal with it, right? try to deal with it and I promise you after already one week of using Excel every day without a mouse you'll be much quicker and you memorize these shortcuts usually pretty quickly so that's a nice thing that's something you can do about the simplicity and the structure of uh, models that's something that's more difficult and that's something that takes months and months and years and years of practice and it's really tightly knit to how your brain works so how do you structure problems so it's not something where you can just google oh how to structure my excel sheet you can do that for standard stuff you know like if you build an integrated model with you know balance sheet profit and loss cash flow and so on i mean there's lots and lots and lots of uh, templates out there you can just copy paste it but if we're talking about different stuff that has never been done before or things that were you know uh, templates are not easily available that's something where really you see how do people think how are they able to think into problems how are they able to structure stuff my personal advice is just to keep working on that to keep trying to improve to ask as many people as possible at your workplace who you know they are doing well at Excel. Ask them, hey, like, w what's wrong with my model? You know, like, show them what you did and ask them, how could you do that easier? How can you simplify it? And you will see that many people have some nice advice for you. And by the way, I was, I was reading uh, through a thread here on Wall Street Oasis about um, Excelling. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it's named exactly as the question, becoming a god at Excel. And someone said, I'm going to be straight up. I'm not too good with Excel right now. How did you guys become gods at Excel? And so a couple of people come forward with a couple of pieces of advice. So one guy here says, you know, it's super cliche, but it's the truth. Don't use a mouse ever. When I summered at the bank, I'm now analyst, blah, 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 blah. So he basically goes on to say, he goes on to say that you shouldn't use your mouse ever. That's something, in my opinion, that's not completely right, right? I mean, I told you, I think it makes sense to know the most important shortcuts and don't use the mouse for 99% of the time. But then I wouldn't go as far as to unplugging people's mouse here when they join Xnote for the first time and I tell them to build a valuation model it just doesn't make any sense it's a bit too too harsh in my opinion 
<laughs> Some people are commenting, I, I've been told this one a lot, I can definitely see how it helps. <laughs> then one person says, rightfully so, right? Uh, one person says, what is these idiotic hardo statements about not using a mouse? Are you retarded? <laughs> yeah, so you see, it's a, it's a controversial thing. Yeah. Whoever does, whoever wants to use a mouse while doing Excel, just do it. You know, like as I said, I have very good. I had a couple of people I worked with on projects. They were freaking Excel wizards, and they used their mouse just because they liked to, because they felt more comfortable with it. So that's okay too, right? Final statement. Uh, we will read this answer yeah, because I think it sums up pretty well some good pieces of advice on how to become a god at Excel. Okay, let's go. First of all, format your work and make sure it's easy to read as you go. Don't fall into bad habits and say that you'll make something look better when you're finished with a model. Totally true. Like You never go back to that shit. Readability doesn't just mean pasteable into PowerPoint, although that's, uh, that's important. Uh, you want to make sure your work is easy to check. That's, that's a good point. I would have totally forgotten about it. Uh, you want to make sure that, you know, if I ask someone, hey, can you please like build this kind of valuation model or whatever, um, the nicest thing this person can do is make sure it's uh, easy for me to check afterwards. Because anyways, I will need to get into the model at some point and check it. So you might as well make it as easy as possible for me to do so. Make real comments to yourself and your reviewer, right? So put in some comments into the Excel model. You can add comments. Next thing, check your work as you go. Look at your numbers as you go and run a few test cases through your complicated formulas before you move on to the next one. Also extremely important. So make sure that you make checks, little checks. Most of the times it's just summing things up and making sure that the sums match. And if they do, that's a very good sign. Uh, and last piece of advice this uh, fellow gentleman, I assume, uh, gives to us is accuracy is more important than speed. And I couldn't agree more. <laughs>